Today on our show... War of the Planet of the Apes! We're going to watch the trailer. Yeah, that's it. Nothing that big. We're going to watch the trailer for War of the Planet of the Apes. Today on Fat Man on Batman. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fat Man on Batman. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Mark Bernardin. And guess what we're going to do, kids? The laziest thing you can do on the internet. Watch <laughs> it. You're going to watch us watch it. We're going to watch the trailer for War of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I have not seen this trailer. Have you? Uh, I saw it, yes. You cheating bitch! <laughs> you Turn that bitch. camera off! <laughs> yeah. very, all right, I have not yeah. seen it. So you're going in, you're going in dry. I'm going in, cl- yeah, I'm going in very dry. <laughs> uh, here, but I'm going to put this out there. Mm. I'm an old school OG apes fan. All right. I love those movies. Uh, and I understand a lot of people think these movies look better. But that's just like when you show me a CGI shark, I'm like, that don't look like a shark. Because Jaws looks like a shark to me. Because that's how I was raised on Jaws. That because was my special effect. That giant puppet is a shark. It is. If a, if a shark doesn't look like Jaws, I'm like, it looks fake to me. Same thing with these new Planet of the Apes movies. I understand that, you know, all the CG geniusness that goes into making it. But come on, man. You don't need that. That's a lot of money. Just put the rubber masks on them. Now, which are, which of the OG apes is your favorite OG apes? The first one? What or? a great question. Mm. What a great question, Mark. Um, I'm going to... i got to bring up my voice because there's somebody bitch about me on the internet. They're like, you're talking too low. It's when I get wistful. Oh. When I'm like, I love... He's Planet Dewey. Apes. I love top old <laughs> Um The... Uh, okay, which is my favorite apes movie? I love Planet of the Apes. Mm-hmm. I love... Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Really? Yeah, oh God. Mm. They, yeah, they have, I'm, I'm not, look, you know me, I'm not very selective or <laughs> critical. Uh, all the Apes movies, uh, up, up until the last one. Battle mm. for... Less good. Can't remember it that much, but mm. yeah, not as good as the others. Okay, so Planet of the Apes, Yes. genius. Perfect. Beneath the Planet of the Apes, I'll still go with pretty fucking great for me. Especially because, like, the fucking fight, and I reveal my innermost self to my bomb, and they worship the fucking it, missile and it shit. It got very hippie for me, though. It got it's very, a, like, it you does. know, hate the mind, the mind yeah. battles? Yeah. A little, a little too transcendental LSD for my apes. Had the guy who played King Tut in it. That wasn't good <laughs> enough for you? <laughs> the Batman show. Um, okay, so that was Beneath. Maybe my favorite of all time, mm. Apes movie. Ooh, it's a toss-up. It's a tie between Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Nice. That was where they took it and refreshed it mm-hmm. by bringing it to the present day. Cornelius and Zira, and later on, Baby Milo. And Ricardo Montalban. Yes. <laughs> who helps their young baby escape, who becomes Caesar in... Conquest. Conquest. So it's for me... Fuck, it's tough, dude. Yeah. I love... You have no idea how much I love these... Apes movies. That's why it's like, you know, tough for me with the new Apes movies because I'm like, yeah, but where's Roddy McDowell? <laughs> you know, and, and the, don't get me wrong, like, not every Apes movie will do because mm. there was that one Tim Burton one where, you know. Oh, no, we don't talk about that one. Yeah. Never to be spoken of again. The cartoons, I watched all the cartoons when I was a kid. I, I had some of the Mego dolls. Like, eight, before Star Wars, like, mm. Apes was my franchise. And when 430 movie, would do Apes Week and show every fucking movie in a row. Oh, that was my—that was the prime time of my life. Everything else has been downhill, honestly. Since then, Mark. <laughs> the first time I ever came to LA, I think I was twelve or thirteen years old, and I just remember driving through Century City and saying, oh, "This is Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. This yeah. is where they shot Conquest of the Planet of the Apes." You're absolutely right. It still today looks yeah. like it if you know what to look for. In Century City, they got these big buildings where, like, ABC used to be before, mm-hmm. you know, Disney bought them and shit. And before the Die Hard Tower. Yes, before Nakatomi, before Nakatomi which is, like, right around the block. It's oh, awesome yeah. sometimes. If you're a movie buff living in L.A., oh, you're bananas. always like, and that's how you get in the accidents. But, uh, <laughs> but the, yeah, you see Century City Plaza looks like where, where uh, Caesar uh, leads the fucking rebellion mm-hmm. with all the flames. And he's like, no. You know, no, she says no. Yeah. Fuck. I forget. Uh, I love it so much, I forget. And Century uh, City is also where half of Gattaca is, I think. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Yeah, too. Gattaca and the other Time movie that he made with Fuck. Andrew Nichol. Like, that, that's his jam. Like, remember, his version of the future is Century City. It, for most of us who grew up watching Planet of the Apes, it is. Remember where, like, pick your name. 
And, you know, he goes, opens the book, and Caesar, a leader, you know, it's so, <laughs> oh, fuck, I love those movies. But remember there was, I heard there's a different ending, Ooh. like, for Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Ooh. The ending was like, you know, and tonight, you know, let this be the beginning of the planet of the apes. And it ended in, this is it, utter rebellion, shit's gonna fucking go haywire. But at the time they released that movie, I think it was around the time of like the Newark riots and mm -hmm. stuff, and there was like huge racial divides in the country. So they were like, let's not mirror that. And they toned it down. So when you watch Conquest, he builds this fucking hate-filled speech where you're like, kill him, kill all the fucking humans, do it, Caesar. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he goes, and they'll cut into him. It's not on his mouth, but they cut into his eyes. And then he's like, but not today. <laughs> you know, almost like, you know, Poochie, I have to go away to my home planet. And he fucking leaves. I'd like to buy the world a Coke and teach them all to sing. They wouldn't reshoot. They were like, just go and close on his eyes. We'll loop the line and be like, but don't kill people today. Yeah, maybe not so much the call to Armageddon. It, but it doesn't matter. That movie is fucking dynamite. Like, mm. oh, oh. Escape from the Planet of the Apes, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, you can watch back to back. And then loop back and watch Planet of the Apes. Yes. Who you know who wrote Planet of the Apes? Uh, Pierre Boulet. The novel, Rod Serling wrote the screenplay. Great Rod Serling. The great Serling. Rod Serling. Who, like, was, as always in the Twilight Zone, was always telling a story about society mm -hmm. um, through science fiction. Same thing yep. here in many ways. Maybe the greatest writer to ever work on a screen. Yeah? Is my money. Give him a single. My money, because here's the thing. He Rod wrote, Serling. Rod Serling. Over the nine years I think Twilight Zone ran, he wrote half of those episodes. And that was like... 40 episode seasons. So he wrote something like... And they were like half hour episodes. So. Half hour episodes, no recurring characters except for him. So everyone is brand new. Everyone is new characters. Everyone is a new world. That is the biggest feat of heavy lifting I've ever seen on television. Excellent point, man. You he know, did it for eons. He did it for eons. Like he wrote something like 300 episodes of that show. Mm. And there are not a lot of bad ones. And even the bad ones are interesting. Yeah. There's no such thing as like this terrible Twilight yeah. Zone. It's just like, eh. Yeah, like you hear of like... They all make you go, huh. Huh, ooh, okay. Some make you go like, no! <laughs> <laughs> but like you hear of these like, you know, Aaron Sorkin wrote every episode of The West Wing. He wrote every episode of, of Sports Night. Uh, J. Michael Shadzinski wrote every episode of, ba of Babylon 5. Did he really? He did, except for one that Neil Gaiman wrote. <laughs> no, good for you. Um, but, JMS like a motherfucker. Yeah, but I still think that, that for, for sheer heavy lifting... And, Rod Serling. And single to noise, quality ratio, Twilight Zone still wins. If you don't know, nobody knows. He's a fucking mm. writer. You're looking at a writer. I'm That's just, a writer. I'm just saying. He's a wicked writer. <laughs> wicked writer. Um, okay. So now, did you see... Planet of the Apes. Rise of we gotta the Planet of the Apes. We got to finish one more. Uh, oh, sorry. Battle for the Planet of the Apes in the original series. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, Mets and Mets. Yeah, I mean, there's some scenes of fighting and shit like that. But, like, nah, some of your favorite characters mm. are, are missing and stuff. And Caesar's kid dies, remember? Milo. Yeah, no. Was his name Milo? Is that what they named him? I thought it was. Milo, it might have been, because Milo was originally Caesar's name. Like, they named mm -hmm. their baby, Cornelius and Zira named the baby Milo. Oh, it doesn't Cornelius. But then remember the other Caesar. chimp gets killed, and they're like, that's right. baby Milo. And that's, Milo goes to mm. Ricardo Montalban, and later on, he chooses his name Caesar. as Caesar. So then Caesar has a kid. And that a, kid might be named Milo. That'd or, be dope. Or Taylor. Maybe he names a kid Taylor. Does he do That'd that? Be better. I don't think it's a... Let's pretend it does. But he, uh, the kid <laughs> is like, you know, being... Fuck, he's overhearing, I think, the gorillas talk about, like, we got a war. And uh, they see him, and they go to chase him, and he fucking falls out of the tree and dies. Mm. And so it sets up a war with, like, you know, the apes. Like, Cornelius wants to be friends with the humans, and the gorillas are like, the only good human is a dead human. Oh, fuck, I love those movies. That being said, that's the past. Let's concentrate on the future. Yes. What was your question? Uh, did you see the two movies that precede War for the Planet of the Apes? I did. Ra Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I, I did. Or vice versa. I know I it's sacrilegious to say this, but I think I like Dawn more. Oh, okay. I know. See? Love your action. All right. No, I did. I liked Dawn uh, more than the second one. I thought the second one was fine, but I like. I remember when it came out, people were like, this shit's genius! <laughs> and, you know, I saw it. I was like, yeah, it's all right, but I liked the first one more and shit, mm. telling the story and 
how it ended. I like the post credit sequence where you saw the virus spread and suddenly like that's what happened. But anyway, so now this so I like the second one just fine. Mm-hmm. This one though's got a good planet. War for the planet. War for the planet of the apes. Fuck yes. I thought it was of War for the Planet of the Apes. That's a metal title. What is it good for? Yeah. Absolutely everything. Oh my god. So we're gonna watch the shit out of this right now. Uh, and I'm watching clean. This is fresh. Mm. Fresh. Reaction. <laughs> Here we go, man. We're gonna watch the shit out of the trailer for War for the Planet. Yeah. So we got the, the green apes. screen now. Green screen up, and we're pressing, and we're watching now. <gasps> Where's the beaches? Yeah. Put a fucking Statue of Liberty on. Mm. All right, that's pretty dope. I mean. <laughs> Giant chimpanzee <clears throat> on a what? Lady holding on to the oh, I like that guy oh. in the in the other movie. Yeah, he's awesome. Tell him, what is this cat's name? Uh, Andy Circus. No, the character. No, that's Caesar. Is Caesar? Yeah. All right. Yes, gunfire. Good. Man verse eight. I like the fortresses, man. You need to be wearing clothes, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> like in the old movies with the leather and shit like that. Yeah, just taking out humans with guns. Is that Woody Harrelson? It looks like Woody Harrelson. That is Woody Harrelson. The fuck? <laughs> How does he miss? All of human history. Yeah. <laughs> Shaving his head, Woody! Woody Harrelson playing Eamon Goth, it looks like, a little <laughs> bit, no? Eamon Kurtz. Dope. Fuck yes. I like the, I like the orangutan. Mm. He's a good character. This is our last yes, bitch! <laughs> yes, bitch! <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't hurt him. Oh, oh. Holy shit. I don't like that. Wow. Holy fuck, did this... A war. Yes! Fuck you, take all my money. God damn it, that looks good. No, it's strong. I know where I'm going to be. So strong, they didn't even need to put a PS to that. Let's watch that again real quick. That's kind of dope, man. You know what, we'll just... Yeah, fuck it, we'll watch from the beginning. I mean, chimpanzees on horseback... Carrying guns. That looks like what Battle for the Planet of the Apes tried to look like in the last of the series, but they had like no money fucking yeah. left and shit. Those were, the, those were the years of diminishing returns. Yeah. See, starting on the beach reminds me of the ending of the beach yeah. of Planet of the Apes. They're going in a different direction. But that's dope, man. Gi- so giant chimpanzee with a fucking shotgun on his back riding a horse. I'm going to say it again. I like this orangutan. He was a good character. I don't remember his name. He was like the keeper of the... Journals or something. I mean, like why that. do they don't? I don't know why they don't call him Doctor Zayas. <laughs> they might as fucking well. They might as well. He offered them peace. Mankind always fucks it up. Yeah, of course. He did. I remember mm-hmm. that part of the movie. They, isn't mm-hmm. it the dam they had to get going and shit? Mm-hmm. Oh, so he built his fortress yeah. behind it. That ties into the last movie. That's smart. I'll give him that. <laughs> Dudes. Dude. It's pretty dope. This I like what the fuck? That's great. He is fully channeling Matthew McConaughey from Rain of Fire. Do you remember that movie? Ah, oh my god, the look! <laughs> Bald with a beard. Yeah. Have yourselves a little Where is soiree. This? I bet you that's like Why the can't Presidio. they just fucking share? Dope. Shoot him. Shoot him in the back. Yes, bitch. Mm. Who's the kid? You think? No, no, no. Come on, that's fucking dope. Shit, yes. Of giant apes with bows and arrows. I don't like that. Oh, I love that push. Like, yeah, fuck, yeah. shoot me. As Do if it. They're ever gonna shoot that fucking character. <laughs> He's the money. Don't kill Caesar. That's dope, man. Gorillas. Arming of fucking Anatomy. That's amazing. 
Crush his skull. The bang! So that's a dude that looks like he had mercy before. Next time he mm -hmm. saw him, he's like, fuck nope. you. I'm in. That mm -hmm. looks way fucking cooler than the last movie. And I know a lot of people like the last movie. Mm. But again, I'm going to say it. I like the first movie with Franco in it. That was dope. But that, yeah. that looks fucking phenomenal. I mean, and I love... It looks like they took that last... I, I won't interrupt him. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. It looks like they took the last few minutes of that last Planet of the Apes mm -hmm. movie where they were warring and then did a whole fucking movie about it. Yeah. Take it away. Um, I just love the fact, we talked about it a bit with Westworld, that it's that's, that series started you feeling like you were sympathizing with the human characters because you're human and you're walking in and you're like, oh, we're going to have fun in this fucked up place. But as time goes on, you become on the side of the hosts. You are, you're absolutely rooting for them to uprise. Yeah, that's true. In these three movies, like we are now voting almost with our money to see the apes destroy humanity. We I mean, want there to be a Planet of the Apes. They keep selling us a Planet of the Apes, and we're like, <laughs> we keep giving you money until Come you on, give it to get us. Come on, let's get So at the end, at the, at the, you know, right before the credits, like, with all these humans dead, it is finally a Planet of the Apes. It's over. <laughs> or debate over the Planet of the Apes. Are they, and are they meaning to tie into? No, not at all. They I don't. mean, that first one sort of dovetails in, like they talk about the Icarus mission, they talk about, you see the, the, the things start to. Maybe that's why I liked it so much, because I'm like, oh, <gasps> Uh, it ties into the fucking yeah. Planet of the Apes movies. I mean, I think it's all supposed to basically nestle between, like, the first and the second, between... As long as it's not Marky and... Mark, I'm good. Oh, man. That um, man. yeah, let's... Why fucking... Look, let's... You got, know it's bad. This we is we don't need to talk about Apes Past, unless it's the old Apes Past. <laughs> OG Apes rules. This looks fucking dope. This looks like the movie that Battle, of the Plan Battle for the Planet of the Apes... Wanted to be way back in the day with no money. Yeah. War for the Planet of the Apes. They're fucking giving you war. That looks pretty dope. It looks dope, man. Andy Serkis bringing it. Is he... Who's directing? Uh, Matt Reeves, who also did the second one. He did the one. second one. Yeah. Good. And I think also, if I remember correctly, did the first Cloverfield movie. Oh, I like that movie. Too. Yeah. No, Didn't he also solid. do the Paul Bearer? Way back in the day? Uh, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Somebody... You may be right. I may be crazy. Oh, but it just may be <laughs> lunatic that Woody's playing. Woody Harrelson, man, has got a career that won't fucking quit. Nope. I mean, you know, I was clicking through cable the other day, and I hmm. saw Wildcats, and that was like... Shut up. Remember? Him and Snipes? He was early. That was early Woody. That might be the first Woody anybody ever had. <laughs> Wildcats. Morning Woody, if you will. Yes. Wildcats. Wild Wildcats. <laughs> it's the sport of kings. Finer than diamond rings. That's why we're here to sing Goldie Hawn. Football. Wild, Wildcats. Football. <laughs> whoa, 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 Wildcats. Football. She's in a new movie. Uh, yes, yeah, Snatched with, uh, with Amy Schumer. Wait, what fucking... Sn oh, Snatch was the well, guy. Well, Snatch was Brad Pitt and, and Guy Ritchie. So this is Snatched E.D. Pass. Yes. Were they I don't know if I can go close. Does it look good? Did you see that? Uh, trailer looks fun if you're an Amy Schumer fan. There you go. Yeah. And who it's is not it genre, this though, right? No, it's they play mother and daughter who get kidnapped in like Thailand or something. So Man, it's, it's a genre, but it's not like right. It's a woman. That's what somebody genre. say online. They were like, with the we, you know, we reviewed Rogue One. A lot of people have watched it, mm. um, but they were going like, why, why the fuck? The show's called Fat Man on Batman. Why are they talking about Star Wars? If it's not clear, <laughs> like that title is just something that we kind of talk about everything. It's now an umbrella. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sheltering us from the awful shit that is not geek news. Yeah, but there'll be more Batman coming. Yeah, you know what I've started doing? What? Um, playing the Batman Telltale Games thing. Mm -hmm. Telltale is a company that did these amazing um, Walking Dead games, which are basically almost like choose your own adventures, like yeah. they're mostly text based, but they just did one for Batman. So you're like putting Batman through his paces, and Catwoman shows up, and Commissioner Gordon. It's pretty cool so far. What's it called, and where do you go? Uh, it's Batman. I can't remember the fucking rest of the name of it. But it's by Telltale Games. By Telltale Games. Yeah. Where do you play it? Uh, my PS4. There you go. Oh, it's like a Yeah, it's a console you think. There you go. Yeah. So, so we'll talk about that on a later date. There's a hot tip right making there. Making my way through it. So um, all right. But yeah, but it is Fat Man Batman. We talk about a lot of shit. Get used to it. If you haven't figured that out now. Yeah, if you're just coming here expecting to see nothing but Batman. And don't act like you never saw the show before. Come on. Come on. We know. Yeah. All about it. It's not that popular, but, <laughs> but we've we, seen our numbers. We know you know. Uh, there it is. That's all we got for you this week, man. War for the Planet of the Apes. Fucking thumbs up. Yes. Looking good. Going to be Reeves. there in July. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in for this one. Way more than the last one, it seems like. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Fucking for Fat Man, I'm Batman. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Mark Bernard. Come back next episode. Same fat time. Same fat channel. Podcast.com or YouTube.com slash Kevin Smith.